presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. <laughs> Okay, good morning, everybody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Jim Weller here, and it's a nice, brisk morning out. I want to say welcome to Weller Does Del Marva. How are you? How's your week been? Uh, we all celebrated Good Friday yesterday, and Easter is tomorrow. So, big weekend, a lot going on, and I want to encourage you to just stay tuned for the next hour while I talk about all kinds of crazy things, and I have a lot to talk about. It's been a busy week here at Weller's. What have you been up to, Brooks? Brooks Ritter, I got to introduce him. Brooks Ritter is the executive producer here today. Is that right? Executive, executive absolutely. producer, and um, he is the guy in charge of all the controls. And Fran, we want to thank him back at the studio for uh, turning on the switch and letting us on the air. We are live right here, right now, inside my office at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville, doing our weekly show. So, Brooks, it has been it? an absolutely crazy week. It has and been why is that? Very, very busy. Oh, really? Yes, absolutely. What have you been doing? I have been doing nothing but selling. Finish selling. up a sale, right on to the next sale. Finish right. up a sale, right on to the next sale. How does that make you feel? I love it. It's 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 very fun. Okay. It makes the day go by quick. Okay. So the day, end of the day comes, you go home and see your family. So it's it's a lot of fun, but it, it also, it just it, it keeps time going. And you, there's never a stale moment. And how do your customers feel about dealing with you? I, I believe they're enjoying it. They at least at least <laughs> you have any bullet holes in you, right? <laughs> at least that's that's the uh, vibe I'm getting. The vibe you're getting. Yes. So, okay, folks, if you've dealt with Brooks and you're happy with him, shoot me an email just so I know for sure, <laughs> so I can get a second on that or an amen. So, uh, my email is Jim J I M. So many people when they look at me, they think it's spelled G Y M. It's J I M at Wellers dot com. If you have any comments on the show, good, bad, or indifferent, preferably good, but we'll take them all. Like to hear what you think of the show. Like to hear if you have any ideas or suggestions for us or anything like that also we have a facebook page for this show it's called weller does del marva so you can like us on facebook and then uh, we got weller's utility trailers weller's red barn we got lots of different things so anyway we are facebook facebook happy so uh one of my sponsors i want to thank very happy with them i talked to them regularly and uh, they have had a lot of good response to some of the advertising on this show but it's first class heating and air they put a new heating and air conditioning system in my house and they put a encapsulation underneath i mean i've gave so many tours of the underneath of my house it's amazing so anyway if you have a heating and air conditioning system and you haven't had it serviced in a while we've had a cold wet winter you know in other words they'll come out they'll service it they'll check your filter check the freon levels and all that stuff and make sure that you're getting your money's worth while that thing's running because an inefficient system is going to cost you more money when it's running so it's first class heating and air they do new systems they do maintenance they do repairs they actually do plumbing and electrical work also and home performance and i want to mention here in a few weeks we're going to be doing a home performance test at my house so uh, we're, they're going to be coming, and while we're doing the show, they're going to be doing all these kinds of tests to see how, how my house is performing. So we'll tell you more about that, but the whole show is going to be focused on that. So First Class Heating and Air, give them a call, serving Delmarva for over 40 years, and they also serve Maryland, 934-8900, 934-8900. The other person I like to brag on is my accountant. Um, it's amazing. I like my accountant. I like my heating and air guy. I like my insurance guy. So, uh, But I like good service, and that's why. I deal with George Luff. Been dealing with him for 20-plus years. Luff and Associates in Milford. Phone number, 422-9699, 422-9699. But the thing that we have been using them and really enjoyed is their easy payroll system. They are doing Weller's payroll now. Not that they pay my employees for me. They get it all together and do the process, but they don't furnish the money. I have to give them the money to pay everybody. But anyway, it's easy payroll. So if you have a small business, uh, one or two employees, or you got hundreds of employees, they can take care of it. And I always give this example. If you have a small business, one to five employees only cost you $25 per pay period. And every time I say it, people think $25 an employee. No, it's $25 total per pay period for one to five employees so we pay every other week so it costs me 50 bucks a month i'm sorry i, I got that wrong because i got the 11 to 24 so that's 54 dollars. so it costs me 108 dollars a month 
to have my payroll done. And it's well worth it because we've got about 12 or 13 people we pay once, twice a month. So anyway, Love & Associates, 422-9699. If you want to talk payroll, you want to talk accounting, anything you want to talk about, they can help you. Now, Brooks, you probably know more about this than me, but you might not. We have a help wanted position? Yes, we do. Okay. Now, I'll describe it and you just chime in or tell me if I got it right or wrong. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. We are actively looking for, we've hired a, n another person here recently, um, and we got a couple help wanted positions. But this first one, we need somebody to work here to install like hitches, break boxes when we sell a trailer or somebody just wants a hitch put on. We sell a lot of hitches for bike racks, don't we? Absolutely. In other words, that's kind of almost as popular now as a hitch to pull a trailer. That's correct, and you're getting them on all kinds of different cars. You're getting them on, like, Honda Accords, Toyota Corolla, stuff like that, things you wouldn't expect to see a hitch on. Mm -hmm. You know, people are getting hitches for that because they want to go out and go well, camping and take their bikes and, and stuff like that. But you just name vehicles that they're not going to stick the bike inside of. Exactly. In other words, you know, so, I mean, if they got a pickup, they might stick the bike in the back of the pickup, but if they got a Honda Accord, they're going to put the bike on the back of it, in other words, That's you correct. know. So um, so we sell hitches, of course. So if somebody's a do-it-yourselfer, they can buy a hitch and take it home and do it themselves. Absolutely. And am I right on the hitches we sell? They're what's called um, – they're, they're not universal. They're made for the vehicle. They're vehicle-specific. They're vehicle. made for the frame underneath of the... Uh, so they're a lot easier to install. That's correct. User-friendly, I guess, that, is what I'm saying. That's correct. You're not so, having to slide this and put a pin here. And, and hope it that. works and stuff like that. Exactly. So, you know, a lot of that online stuff, in other words, they're universal hitches. And um, so we sell draw tight, isn't it? That's correct. Okay. And so uh, we need somebody to install hitches. That was a long roundabout version of we need somebody <laughs> to install hitches. We need somebody to install brake boxes. We need somebody that... They can do uh, utility trailer repairs like pack wheel bearings, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, if they could weld, that would be a plus, wouldn't it? Absolutely. So, um, but anyway, you know, um, if you are a mechanically inclined person. Now, another thing they would do is like when we get trailers in, they come in by the tractor trailer load. Um, we might get as many as, what, 40 trailers on one load? Yes. And we might get as little as two. Depending That's quite a variety, isn't it, in other words? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we need to put them together. We have, like, stickers we put on them that say wellers. If they're an open trailer, we have to put the tires and wheels on. So, and then we check the lights and everything. A lot of people just presume because it's new, everything works at Wellers. And this is something that you do need to know if you're shopping around for a trailer. We check the lug nuts and torque them to the right torquing or what foot pounds. Yeah, that's great. We check the air in the tires. Mm -hmm. We make sure all the lights work. If it has brakes, we make sure the brakes they work. make sure the brakes work. If it has a breakaway switch, we make sure it works. Yep. Okay, so nothing against anybody else that sells trailers. But if you're shopping for a trailer, I think it's important when you look at a big box store and you say to yourself, where's their garage bay? Mm -hmm. What are they going to do if the lights don't work? How are they going to check the air in the tires? And the answer is usually they don't. Yep. They go okay. out and they, they unlock the later. cable that's run through all the trailers and say, here you go. You're on your own. Good so luck. Good luck. Yeah. And if you have a problem, uh, call the manufacturer because we don't have any way of helping you anyway. So here we got five or six guys that all kind of know how to work on trailers if we had to troubleshoot something or deal with something and so on. And we do find it. Is that right? Yeah. Brand new trailers do have sometimes a problem. I mean, everybody's everybody's human, so there, there's no way coming from the manufacturer that everything's going to be perfect all the time. You're it's kidding very, me. It's very easy. You stack a trailer. You do something. You might, you know. What about them the rabbits wires. out there? Don't they get into the all, wiring? All everywhere? They rabbits and squirrels. I don't know what it is about. And all their bird's wiring. nest. We'll sell a trailer and we're like, oh, we can't sell you this one. There's a bird's nest on top of the tire. <laughs> you know, it's an endangered species. But anyway, so what we're saying is we need a shop guy for one thing. Yes. Okay, so we need him to be mechanically inclined, to have his own tools, to be able to work on trailers or put a hitch on a vehicle or, you know, just help out in any way. But I do I do like to brag on that, that when you buy a trailer at Wellers, what we do is we go, we take a little tractor and we go get the trailer across the street. We bring it up here to the building. And at that moment, we check the lights and make sure they work. So it's not just we check them the day we buy them. We check them then also. We recheck them to make we sure the them. squirrels and rabbits haven't gotten right. to them. And haven't we noticed that somehow lenses and lights mysteriously disappear from these trailers sometimes? Yes. Yep. So we get up to the building and we're like, where'd the lights go? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> borrowed them and they forgot to bring them back. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we check the lights. We check the air in the tires. That's yep. important. You know, and we torque the lug nuts which and we is, help you hook it up. Which is very important, the torquing yeah. of the lug nuts. Oh, yeah. The last thing you want to do is be driving down the the highway and you look to your left and whoa there goes one of your tires and wheels yeah. right down past you how to get up more speed than me exactly so but anyway we're we're professionals at what we do and 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 there's plenty of places at sell trailers my gosh you can drive up the highway either way they're 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 they're, they're like fleas on a dog they're everywhere in other words you know but the thing is 
we are in it. This is what we do for a living. We don't do something else and sell trailers. We sell trailers. And I find constantly, I'll hear you guys talking to somebody, and they'll, they'll get to talking to you, and then all of a sudden they'll say, well, what about this and what about that? Because there's so much to it. It's not just, yeah. oh, I want a 5 by 8 trailer. Well, the important thing is what are you pulling it with? Front-wheel drive car, rear-wheel drive vehicle? What are you hauling on it? How long? How wide? I'll never forget the time a guy bought a 5 by 8 trailer from me. And he said, well, I'm just going to haul sheets of plywood, and they're 8 foot long. So he puts 50 sheets of plywood on the trailer. It sways. It turns over. It tears up his vehicle. And I'm like, dude, you never told me you were putting 50 sheets of plywood on an 8-foot trailer. It's always better to buy a little bit longer Mm -hmm. so you can move that product further back, which reduces the amount of weight on the tongue, which makes it pull better. Yeah. Uh, people are always amazed. You're looking at, we'll just say, a 24-foot enclosed trailer. And maybe they want a 20-foot because their car is only 17-foot long. Mm-hmm. But a 24-foot trailer will pull better than yeah. a 24-foot trailer. Because you can put I'm the sorry. A 24-foot trailer will physically pull better than a 20-foot trailer mm-hmm. because you've got less tongue weight because you can move your product further back because 60% of the trailer is from the center of the axles forward. It's not 50-50, right? No, it's 60-40. 60-40. So anyway, man, that was a long version of we have a help wanted position, wasn't it? Yes. Brooks, you got to slow me down. Too many words. I'm only allowed – I don't even know how many words I agreed to buy in this show, but I'm only allowed to use so many words. I say just keep going. So you have to slow me down. We need a word meter. So anyway, help wanted position, what do they do if they're interested in this? They would uh, come on in and talk to Brandon or Jason. I would suggest they avoid today. Yes, I would. Today is going to be off the hook. Yes. What we sell? Eight yesterday? We sold eight and a deposit, so really yeah. nine yesterday. I mean, you figure the average trailer sale should take about an hour and a half to two hours. You would think. We and do. we're selling eight in eight hours. Mm-hmm. We're pretty efficient, aren't we? Yeah. So anyway, uh, last Saturday was what, 10? 10, and the Saturday yeah. before that was 10. 10, yeah. So today's got to be 11, all right? Yes, we got to get off that 10 number. Got to get off that 10 number. But, folks, you think about it. You know, 8, 10 trailers a day. You know, we are rolling them. And and I have so many people say, why do you have so many trailers? Well, the reason we have them is because when a customer drives down here from New Jersey or New York or Connecticut or up from Seaford, Delaware, we want him to have the opportunity to look at a variety of trailers. And, again, I am not busting on any of our competitors. Everybody we compete against, we like them. You know what I mean? They're, they're good competitors. But what I'm saying is when you go to a guy's place and you say, I'm interested in um, a 6x12 landscape trailer. We'll just say 6x12 landscape trailer. And, oh, I've seen them in the guide or I've seen them here for, we'll just say, $1,300. Mm-hmm. Okay? Well, that's fine. That's fine. But in a black and white print ad, how do you even know what size tires it has? How do you know whether the floor is just a sheet of treated plywood or whether it's a two-by-six floor or whether it's five-quarter board? Yeah. How do you know what size the metal is? How do you know whether the cross members in the floor are 36 inches apart, 24 inches apart, 16 inches apart? And you can come to Weller's and you can look at one brand of uh, a 6 by 12 How many different brands do we have? Name them. Oh, we have Curry, we have Master okay. Tell, we have Aluma. That's so, right. So you got three right there and three completely Don't we also have carry on? We have carry-ons. So there's that's four. Total of four. So you could literally come to Wellers in Bridgeville mm-hmm. and look at on a six by twelve landscape trailer, four different brands of trailers. Now let me ask you, are they all built the same? Absolutely not. Are they all the same price? No. Okay. So the only way you're gonna really know the difference mm-hmm. is what? Is by coming here and looking at them. And, and that's what them. we offer. Yeah. That is why you see so many trailers out here on this property, because we are not asking you to make a decision to spend 1300 or 13000 We are asking you to, we want to help guide you through the process. Because I get it every day. People say, man, I, you know, I saw one here. I said, yep, you saw one. Yeah. So if you go to a trailer dealer and he sells one brand of trailer, then it forces you to have to go somewhere else to see what the differences are. Because if they were all built the same, the only thing you would have to do is Shop price. Exactly. So, in other words, you know, here it's a little bit more than about price. Here it's about value. In other words, a good deal on a lemon is still a lemon, no matter whether you pay retail or get a good deal. So, at Wellers, we try to give you value. So, we want you to understand if you want a 6 by 12 landscaper for $1,300, we're your guy. But if you want to look at one that uh, maybe has powder coat paint versus just a spray paint, if you want one that has, um, what's that other kind of uh, salt-treated lumber? Ground contact. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. salt treated lumber versus just regular salt treated lumber it's a different grade in other words so if you want to talk about trailers we can talk about trailers if you just want to blow in throw the cash at us and get out of here we can do that too so wellers is the place to buy a trailer we have a large selection same way with enclosed trailers take a six by 12 enclosed trailer um how many brands we got there we got what carry on Carry on. You got a Diamond Cargo. You got Lark. You got Pace. You got Pace. We got Bravo. So there, man, there's, there's quite a few different ones out there. In that so too. again, it's the same thing. In other words, you know, and um, so and if you're looking around, anything anybody else can do on price, we absolutely can do it. So it's not like we're any higher than anybody else. What we try to do is we try to value your purchase. Whether you're going to spend $600 with us or $6,000 with us, we don't want you to be forced to make that decision on one brand and one brand only because we were too cheap to only stock one brand. Sure. What we're saying is we appreciate you. We understand you work hard for your money, and we want to help you through the process because is it like seven out of ten people are first-time trailer buyers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and so all they're thinking is, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? That matters. I agree that matters. But can we show you the difference between what 1,000 buys and what 1,400 buys and what 1,800 buys and what 2,200 buys so you can then decide that's what I want? Where, again, nothing against anybody, we can, but they all sell one brand and one brand only. Yeah. It's like one and done. Yeah. But in other words, you know, there's a little teeny bit more to it than that. And we find it all the time, don't we? Yeah, we do. And we also want to make sure that we get what's going to be best suited for you. The last thing we want you to do is to buy this particular trailer because that's what you think you need. Yeah. When in actuality, you know, it's not going to work. A 5 by 8 is not going to work for a 60-inch cut mower. Don't we get it all the time with motorcycle people? Oh, all where the they time. say the motorcycle is 8 foot long and they want an 8 foot long trailer. Yeah. And then they, they get one and they say, this thing sways like crazy. You know how come? Because you got 60% of your weight in front of the axle. Yeah. Buy a 10 foot trailer instead of an 8 foot trailer. Park that motorcycle one foot back from the front. And now all of a sudden it tows like a dream. Absolutely. Because I also have noticed people have smaller vehicles than they used to. Oh, and a lot of them are more front-wheel drive and yeah. stuff like that. So the rear of the vehicle is much lighter than it used to be. So I think, you know, um, what's that commercial? Uh, anyway, we, we are professionals. Yes. In other words, this is what we do for a living. It's not a sideline to us. It's not like a hobby. I had somebody the other day that did buy a trailer at one of the big box stores. And they said that manager's attitude towards finding the certificate of origin was horrible it was like he was being bothered being inconvenienced to have to go do that yeah. you the know? only reason they got trailers there is because because the corporate, corporate says you're going to sell trailers so yeah. we do it for a living and uh, that's going to lead into something i want to talk about in the next half an hour which is buying local in other words i'm going to talk about that in a few minutes but i did want to say we got to help one in position I want to also thank another one of my sponsors which is l and w insurance agency my good friend bill strickland owns that i've been dealing with them for again 20 25 years so they're uh, in dover they have a local number which is 856 7828 if you weren't ready for that it's 856 7828 give them a call tell them i sent you whether you need auto home health life or commercial coverage i've dealt with them on everything from health care to um workman's compensation to liability insurance to my homeowners all my kids deal with them so give them a call during the day during normal business hours they have a live human being answer the phone i love that so again it's 856-7828 on the web lwinsurance.com now another thing i've been doing this now for a couple weeks i got a really interesting free offer for you i've been getting wrapped now for about nine weeks I really am amazed what it does. I'm wrapping my stomach, in other words, and it's toning and tightening, and I'm getting rid of toxins, and I'm losing weight. I've lost about eight pounds. I haven't really changed my eating habits very much, and uh, they've got different things that they offer, but it's a good friend of mine, Jeannie and Dave Morgan in Milford, and I'm going to give out their number, and I'm going to give you a special offer in the next half an hour of the show. So, folks, you're listening to Weller Does Delmarva. We are here. We are live. Brooks, what else you got going on? You told me the other day that – um. What was I getting ready to say? A guy bought a carport. <clears throat> yeah, we sell, we sell and, a brand of carport called Carolina Carport. Okay. And I had a customer purchase one back in, in uh, January, purchased a carport. Of this year. That's correct. 22 wide, 21 long. and, he, and we Holy mackerel. Made it uh, nine foot tall. They start at six That's foot. That's like three feet taller yeah, than normal? Three feet taller. So we got that. This had to be for a motorhome. It was actually just going to actually use it for a garage. He just wanted to have plenty of room. He was tall. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he just wanted to have plenty of room. Okay. I uh, lived up in Felton. Okay. And uh, so he came down and ordered that and got it installed. Really happy with the product. But now he got to the point where, you know what, I really want to close this in. He just didn't have the funds available originally. And um, so he came back down and said, hey, you know, what can we do about closing this in? I've already got it installed. And I said, that's absolutely no problem. You know, we can. You're saying after the fact. After the fact, we can okay. now add options to it. We closed in the sides. We closed in the back and the front. We had a two. Well, he had to do all the work himself. No, no. Carolina Carports is now going to come and inst install these options on that carport that they already built for him. Really? At no additional charge. Except for the product. Yeah, except for yeah, what you're paying for the product. Exactly. Okay. So if a person's listening and they bought a Carolina Carport, do they have to have bought it from us? They don't have to have bought it from us. It just has to be a Carolina Carport. So if anybody has a Carolina Carport right now. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, I've had this thing for a couple of years and I'd like to close in one side or two sides or the back, the front or or anything. They can do that and Carolina Carport will bring the product to their house and install it. That's absolutely correct. This has got to cost a lot to have done. Not at all. They, they do have a minimum order. How much is uh, that? $595, depending on what the options are. If it falls under that $595, it's only going to cost you $50. But how much is it to put it on? It's free. It's included. Hold on. Let me say this in a way I understand. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that if you bought a $695 Carolina carport mm -hmm. and you've had it for a year or two mm -hmm. and you contact, this person calls you and you and they say, I want sides on it. Yeah, for like a standard carport, that would end up running about $300. So it does fall underneath the $595. So for $350. They're going to come, deliver, and put those on. Are you sure? I mean, that doesn't even sound right. You can't get anybody to come to your house and do a service call for $50. They, they are, that's absolutely the way it works, and they are plenty busy because they're offering all these, you know, these options. and these. They amenities. have been a good company, haven't they? They have. We've sold hundreds of them carports, ain't we? I would say thousands. Really? Yeah, we have sold a lot. I mean, I sold, I sold two myself just yesterday, but, I mean, we sell anywhere, I would say, from – if you keep talking, to you're going to need a raise, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Eight I, I, trailers, two carports. <laughs> what else did you do yesterday? Did you eat lunch or anything? I uh, had a few minutes there. What are you, a miracle worker? You should see me. For a big guy, I'm moving quick. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. It, it, it's a... It, it's a blast. I mean, working here is just, it's absolutely fun. And all People the, have no idea how busy this place is, do they? That's correct. And that's why we, ha that's why we have so much stock out there, too, because we want to make sure we have the trailer that you need when it's time, you know, when you need it. <laughs> all right. We're committed to the customer. Absolutely. All right, folks, we're going to take a commercial break, and um, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Got some neat stuff to tell you about. Stay tuned. Weller does Delmarva. Be back. Rehoboth Shores invites you to stop by and see how affordable renting a home in a gated resort can actually be. Spring is in the air and summer will be here before you know it. What a perfect time to look into renting a home near the water. Rehoboth Shores is making it easier by giving you half off your first month's rental. Call or stop by Rehoboth Shores for all the details and your private tour today. While you're there, ask them about all that Rehoboth Shores has to offer, like the private community building, beach, marina, and boat ramps, some of the area's best crabbing and fishing, pool, basketball court, picnic and playground areas, and so much more. Just minutes away from Rehoboth Beach, golfing, outlet shopping, and great dining. If you're thinking of renting a home, you owe it to yourself to check out Rehoboth Shores just down Long Neck Road in Millsboro. And don't forget to ask them about getting half off your first month's rental. Rehoboth Shores, setting a new standard in affordable home rentals. Come see why today. Stop by or call 945-1500 or go to RehobothShores.com for more information. News update. I'm Gary Nan. South Korea stunned by the sinking of that ferry boat. All festivities, celebrations have been canceled for uh, the immediate future. Television networks have canceled their entertainment programming for the weekend. Uh, the, the nation is in shock. Reporter Jason Strother in Seoul. More from CBS News correspondent Seth Doan in Jindo. Teams of divers searched for survivors again today, but only found bodies trapped in the submerged ferry. This chief of a rescue team explained the conditions. It is very difficult, he said, due to the depth, the speed of the water flow, and the weather. 
The ferryboat captain and two other crew members have been arrested. At the time, the current was very strong. The temperature of the ocean water was cold. And I thought that if people left the ferry without proper judgment, if they were not wearing a life jacket, and even if they were, they would drift away and face many other difficulties. Captain Lee Jun Sook through an interpreter. CBS News Update. I'm Gary Nunn. Win a Ride the Monster experience from Monster Racing by playing the Checkered Flag Challenge. It's easy. Pick the five drivers you think will finish in the top five of each week's Sprint Cup race and get points for all your correct picks. Get the most points that week and you win that Monster Racing ride and one for a friend to use at Delaware 1059's Monster Racing Day on October 4th. Congratulations to Richard Fiedler, this week's winner in the Checkered Flag Challenge. Even if you don't win, you can still ride the monster on October 4th and save 25 bucks. Find the coupon on the Checkered Flag Challenge page at Delaware1059.com. And if you have the most points at the end of the first half of the NASCAR season, you'll win a pair of tickets to the fall race in Dover, plus a ride and drive experience from Monster Racing. So play the Checkered Flag Challenge today. Brought to you by Monster Racing. Want the thrill of a lifetime? Then ride and drive with Monster Racing in a real race car on the Monster Mile. Now that's the gift of a lifetime. Perfect for fun family and work events too. Get to the action at MonsterRacing.com. At Donegal, we understand there are many costs associated with running a business. That's why Donegal works with you to provide quality insurance products based on your business's needs and why we deliver that insurance at a price to fit your budget. Call your local independent Donegal agent today and discover why when it comes to insurance for your business, Donegal is a better value. Are you looking for the best rates and award-winning service? Hey, Stephen Hartstein from the insurance market. Let us help you save. Call today, 800-999-7518 or request a quote at Insurance Choice. I can't think of a better place to do a morning radio show than at a great home-cooking, diner-style restaurant like Jimmy's Grill in Bridgeville, Delaware. I'll see you there this Friday and every Friday, 5.30 a.m. till 10, the Gaffney Show on the road. Hey, everybody, Jim Waller here. I want to invite you to come on out to Jimmy's Grill in Bridgeville Friday mornings to watch Made From Scratch Radio with my good friend, Dan Gaffney. 5.30 to 10 every Friday morning. We'll be there. And check me out at wellers.com. Brought to you by Jimmy's Grill and also outlet liquors in Rehoboth Beach. We have a special commercial real estate segment with Bob Wheatley of Alliance Real Estate Professionals and the Whalen Group. Hey Dan, Colin Walls here from Wall Service Center and BringMeGas.com and I'll be a part of the Gaffney Group every Friday at Jimmy's Grill. Come and join us. They'll have the coffee on for you this Friday morning at Jimmy's Grill on Delaware 105.9. Always on time. Sales, service, training. There's no better place to come to than Shooter's Choice. Fact is, Shooter's Choice is your center for all your shooting needs from training to hunting. Visit Shooter'sChoiceDE.com. Check out their daily specials like half-price range time, firearm specials, ammunition specials, and even accessory specials. Plus, coming soon, look for their new interactive scenario-based live firing range. Aim for Shooter's Choice and you'll find they have a large stock of everything. Hard to find guns, accessories, and supplies. They also offer several firearm safety courses and Delaware's concealed carry class. Shooter's Choice, Delaware's first choice in firearms. Open every day and located just three minutes north of the Dover Mall. Call 302-736-5166. Always on target. Shooter's Choice. Yeah, yeah. Shooter's Choice. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. Okay, man, that first half an hour flew by. Jim Weller here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What a wonderful day it's going to be. I got a bunch of friends that are going on a 40-mile bike ride. And I think I'm just going to stand by on the phone in case they need me. They need cheerleaders, too. They need cheerleaders. That's right. I'll get my (laughs) pom-poms out, put my little skirt on, and go, go, go. (laughs) I might have to get pictures of that one. Now, a group of us are going to New York here in the near future. um, And there is this 40-mile bike ride through the boroughs of New York. They block off all the streets. 32,000 people um, ride their bike through the boroughs of New York. And I have signed up for it along with a f- group of my friends and family 
and uh, details to follow, whether I do it, have a heart attack doing it, or don't do it at all. Okay, but I have signed up, I paid my fee, and we'll see what happens next. Hey, man, we had a good time in the last half an hour. You're listening to Weller Does Delmarva. Looking for any kind of comments. I'd like to hear from you. I'm getting some Facebook messages, direct messages from my good friend Jack Riddle. Good morning, Jack Riddle and Susan. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. And I um, want to let you know that you can always like our page, Weller Does Delmarva. You can always friend me on Facebook. I'm the Jim Weller from Delaware. We've got Weller's Utility Trailers on there, Weller's Red Barn on there. I like Facebook. Hey, want to mention my copier guy. And his name is Rick Fowler. No nonsense office machines. My goodness, I've been dealing with him 20-some years. I was probably just a teenager when we started. So anyway, no nonsense office machines out of Georgetown. Uh, they're right by the uh, Sports at the Beach complex, two miles east of the Circle, right there on Route 9. But they sell copiers. They sell new ones. They sell refurbished ones. That's a nice word for used ones. So anyway, <laughs> they can fix your copier. They can refurbish your copier. They can just service your copier. They also sell computers. They work on computers. They sell laptops laptops and tablets and things like that so they got it all anything electronic and there's even some other things i think they can do electronic wise i know they work on like wii systems wii gaming systems and uh xbox 360 and so they're kind of electronic gurus down there so uh those would be my words for them but anyway rick fowler no nonsense office machines 856 7381 and if you mention this show or jim weller he will give you a 25% discount on any labor for like a repair type thing. 8567381. Tell him I sent you. No nonsense office machines. First class heating and air, my air conditioning and heating friends. And I, and I just got to know these guys here recently. They have been good Weller trailer customers. I want to thank them for that. But if you need your air conditioner service. It's the time of year when things are getting ready to get a little warmer and you haven't had it on for a while and you want to make sure that the filter's good, so that there's, there's, there's no mold spores in there or anything like that. You want to make sure everything's working. You want to make sure your duct works in good order. Give them a call. They do service work. They actually sell systems. That's how I got to dealing with them. They put a new heating and air conditioning system in my house. I love it. And my electric bill went down. And I really am amazed with that. I really like this new, more efficient, uh, multi-speed fan type system. But anyway, tell you what else I like. I go down my hallway and the thermostat there telling me what the temperature is that it's set to, but it tells me the outside temperature all the time, and I like that. So anyway, it's first-class heating and air. They do plumbing. They do electrical, home performance. Been serving Delaware and Maryland for over 40 years. Think about that. 934-8900. 934-8900. Tell them I sent you. Hey, Brooks, I, we talked about that one help wanted position, right? Yes. Um, I want to talk a little bit about supporting local businesses, okay? Sure. I, myself, do buy things on the internet. I like a good deal and I like a good value. But here recently, it has really, I've come like under a conviction that it's important. I mean, I'm a local business, and it's important that we do look out for local businesses, okay? Yeah. Because here's the thing. You can go downtown pretty much any town, USA, America, and downtowns have shriveled up. And you go outside of town, there's these big box stores, and they are just sucking the life right out of the town. Mm -hmm. And you've got small businesses. And what happens is, here's what I feel we experience here at Wellers. People come in here, and they want us to educate them they want to talk about a trailer or a works blower or a briggs and stratton generator or something like that and they spend a lot of time with us they want us to tell them all about it and all that and then they're like but i can get it cheaper online we didn't even know you could get it cheaper online until we educated on what you need mm -hmm. and then you realize if everybody does that if we continually go into small businesses and suck up their time and use their bathroom and wash our hands and use their paper towels and park in their parking lot, and so on, and then buy it on the Internet because it's cheaper, where are the small businesses going to be when it's over? And how do you and, know what you're supporting in that? And, and you know what I also find, them? I find that people are comfortable with no level of service from the Internet. They're, like, happy with that. They're, like, they go on the Internet because they know it's cheaper, and they expect no level of service. Mm -hmm. None. We're becoming a society that enters a transaction with our money expecting no level of service. In other words, it would be like a guy buying a trailer at a big box store. Okay? I mean, let's just be real. I had somebody the other day talking to Brandon said, oh, you know, it's cheaper at blank blank. 
Duh. They got 700 stores across the United States of America. Uh, do you think you just made an earth-shattering discovery to tell us that, that, that it's cheaper there? Yeah. Big are. deal. <laughs> Why is it cheaper? Because they give you absolutely no service whatsoever. Why are you standing here in our store letting us educate you and then you inform us that they're cheaper. Uh, you just told us that you weren't comfortable there or you would have bought it. Mm -hmm. You know, we get close. And nine times out of ten, though, I can match all them big box stores anyway. Sure. Okay, anyway. But I'm just trying to speak generically for all small businesses. We as local citizens, and, and, and I've been out to a couple ballparks lately, and I look at all the, the fences and all the signs on the fences. You know what I never see? Big box stores. None. Mm -hmm. Not a one. And you go to a big box store, and what do you see up front? A, a truck, and they're putting the money in the truck. Mm -hmm. You know where that truck goes? You think it drives right from there to the local bank? No, it goes to an out-of-state Out of, state out of town. Yep. You know, and folks, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the big box stores, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Internet. What I'm saying is it's wrong if we don't support one another. And then we're surprised. You know, Sears and Seaford is closing. Is it really? And people are very bothered. A lot of people are losing their job and stuff like that. And those are people that eat in the restaurant. I was eating in a restaurant down just down a, a few steps from Sears, and I was thinking to myself, wonder how that's going to affect that restaurant. Wonder how it's going to affect the people that wait on the tables. In other words, and I got to thinking about, you know, we have got to start looking out for one another because we're a community. The Internet's not a community. No. You know, in other words, the Internet is just the Internet. It's a faceless, emotionless Type of transaction. And for it's, all you it, know, it, that money could be leaving the country. It could be leaving the country. It could be supporting things you don't even believe in or agree with. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Yep. So, folks, I am not beating up on the Internet. I use it all the time. I'm not beating up on any, you know, big box store. But what I am saying is if you have the opportunity, there's a friend of mine, Gary Corman, Millman's Appliances, great guy, supports the community. You know, I got another friend, Dan Slayball, Aluminum. Atlantic Products, or I forgot the exact Atlantic name of it. Aluminum products. Atlantic Aluminum Products. In other words, but you know, uh, I deal with a guy on some lettering who's a good friend of mine, Lynn Rogers, and I just, you know, I, I, I deal with a lot of these guys, and I think to myself, everything we do, you can get on the internet, but who wants, not, who wants that level or non-level of service? And sure. I just got to thinking about it. So if I forgot to mention somebody, I'm sorry. But um, I'm trying to tell you folks that we need your business. Number one, here at Wellers, we work hard, but we're not the Internet, okay? We're going to be friendly to you. If you have a heart attack while you're talking to us, we're going to help you, and we're going to call 911. If you have a heart attack while you're talking to the Internet, I don't think they're going to help Good you, okay? Night. I'm sorry to inform you of that. But anyway, what I'm saying to you is we are here. We are local. We are community. I went to a church service last night at Crossroad Community Church, and I looked around the room, and I'm like, there's a lot of good local business people here. In other words, you know, um, Scott Fitzgerald was there singing. Fitzgerald's um, Salvage and Recycling there in Lincoln, in other words, and they're just a good local company. And, and you know, um, there's just a lot of good people around, and I just want to encourage you when you're spending your money, because here at Wellers, here – I mean, we have people, they will come in, and they will talk to us about something, and then they ask us to support or sponsor or something like that. you got to remember, where do you think that comes from? Mm -hmm. It comes from supporting local. Recently, I said I was at a ball field, and I'm, I see a, all the billboards were local businesses. Sure. You know, so please, yes, there's nothing wrong with the Internet. Use it. Use it wisely. It's like drinking. Drink responsibly. Use the Internet responsibly. But support local businesses. So we are here. We are a local business. You can deal with Brooks Ritter. You can deal with his brother, Brandon Ritter. You can deal with Jason Troyer, who's my son-in-law. Uh, my son Jimmy works here. Both my daughters work here. Um, it's a good little good little group of people and we would appreciate your support so enough on that i just want to encourage people to think about it to think about the local businesses and take a minute and think about i got a milford phone book the other day and i got to looking through it and i was looking and i noticed businesses that are gone mm -hmm. and i'm like dang where did they go you know and just more and more you see them you know this one's going and that one's going and i'm thinking what is america going to look like in the near future, where are you going to go to get somebody to fit your kids with shoes if they have a little trouble getting the right shoe for their feet? There ain't going to be anywhere. There ain't going to be anywhere. I'm, I'm just thinking about that. And, of course, you may be listening and say, look, I don't need no service. I don't care about service. I don't even care about people. Well, then that's that's the Internet customer. You know what I mean? And we had, Go ahead. You go ahead. Like, and one thing to think about, if you have a problem, you know, a local business, you're going to be able to call the local business, talk to You can actually there. go to the local yeah. business. Yeah, and they can help you out. You have a problem with a with 
big box store or internet or something like that, what they're going to do is they're going to have a, a phone number you need to call. You're That's gonna get, right. You're going to get put on hold. Yep. You're going to be dealing with somebody that all they do is, is listen to the problems, and then they hang up, and then you're nothing to them at that point. Right. You're gone. Yep. Local businesses are going to care about you as a customer. They're going to care about what your issue is, and they're going to want to help you get it t- taken care of and resolved. And you're going to bump into each other at functions and mm-hmm. and so on. But I just so that's that's my spiel on local businesses. I didn't mean to get way off on that, but I'm I'm trying to say, gee, even myself, I got to make sure every chance I can that I do my business, you know, locally. And I'll tell you something else. I had a friend of mine in here the other day, Jack Riddle, and um, he's a really good guy, and I like him. And um, Community Bank is a bank that I deal with, and that's a local bank. And you know something I realized? I realized that they make their decisions. Everybody on their board is a local person. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, local not see some banks think local means they make the decision in Philadelphia or, or something like that. that's not really local. No. Local to me is from Frederica down. Sure. <laughs> or that's local. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just saying banking, bank local. Think about that. In other words, you know, um, those are people. Community bank. Another thing they do um, is they do things for the community. They have an electronic sign out front. And every time you go by, it's not even hardly talking about their bank. Mm-hmm. It's talking about this event going on, that thing going on. I mean, there's people that spent money. Name, name one big bank that put an electronic sign out to do anything for the community. I've never seen one. Correct. Because it's all about me. Mm-hmm. All about me, me, me. In other words, you know, where Community Bank is all about community. So anyway, Jack, if you're listening, we love you. And we think you're doing a great job, and we appreciate all the fine folks at Community Bank. But I appreciate local businesses, and I am going to rededicate myself to being a little more supportive, a little more vocal about let's get together because we do. Because you know something else about local businesses? Let your house catch on fire. Mm -hmm. Guess who shows up on the fire truck? Local people. And you know what? It's the local businessman that leaves his business to go fight your fire or jump on the ambulance or the fire truck when your family member gets in an accident or something like that. So because they care about the community. community. What we've got to do is get the community to care about those people, to care about those people. You know what I mean? And quit letting money be the determining factor about whether we care about one another. So I'm not saying come in here and let Wellers take advantage. I don't mean that at all. I'm just saying, think about it though. If we, if we do away with people, what are we going to have? Nothing. Nothing. (laughs) And then who's going to fix the machines if we don't even have any people? Look, i got to get on with things, Brooks. You got me all <laughs> sidetracked there, okay? I did no nonsense. I did first class, didn't I? Yes, you did. I'm going to jump into L&W. Another thing, I was on a trip. My vehicle got broke into. I call L&W. They're like, do you need any money? Do you need anything? What can we do to help you? They contacted the glass company. They were at the hotel the next morning. I mean, my goodness, I, I wasn't even expecting all that, you know? And um, and I've never paid them back the 500000 they sent me. No, I'm just kidding. They sent me no money. <laughs> but anyway, L&W Insurance Agency, 856-7828 in Dover at 674-3500. Uh, but they have been serving Delaware for over 60 years. And they're just a great company. Um, I really like them. So give them a call. There's another great example of a local company. In other words, all the people that work there, you know their names, you know where they live, you know where they, you know, do things and do business. So they offer auto, home, health, life, and commercial coverage, 856-7828. Also, um, I want to talk about these wraps. Gosh, I, I hate to say it, Brooks, and I hate to show you my stomach, so I'm not going to. But my stomach is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, so I don't you know can where it's going. Tell, I mean, even with your look at my way, face, though. Yeah, I'm face. not any better looking. I'm just as ugly as ever, but it's smaller. <laughs> I'm a smaller version of ugly. Hey, okay, whatever works. So whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> Less ugly is better than more ugly. Yeah. So anyway, but um, I want to let you know that I have been getting wrapped, and I've been taking some supplements and uh, drinking a and, uh, protein shake and so on. So um, Jeannie and Dave Morgan, good friends of mine, they've been very supportive of me i have not actually altered my eating habits which is the next thing and then i need to do a little exercise i've lost eight pounds just kind of goofing around so i'm happy so listen here's the deal i did it last week i did it the week before i'm going to do it one more time i hope this doesn't upset genie but i'm going to do it i'm going to give away five free wraps so that's five individual people not you walk in the door and she hands you five wraps this is where she's going to wrap you Okay, and this is not the kind of wrap where you lose a lot of water or anything like that. It's like you pick what area you want wrapped. In other words, like I'm wrapping my belly, but you can wrap your, uh, some people wrap like their throat, and some people wrap like the backs of their arms and stuff like that. So it's a free wrap 
to the first five people that call. And I'm going to give you her phone number here. But um, I wanted to let you know these wraps, they kind of tighten and tone and firm things up. Um, it's not water loss. You could target certain areas, like I said, thighs, arms, neck, belly, back fat, all natural ingredients. So here's the deal. The first five people that call her. Now, if you're number six, I'm sorry, you're not going to get it. She gets a boatload of calls every week. So call right now if you want to take advantage of that free wrap. Okay, so give her a call right now. I guess the only thing left to do is give you the phone number, right? Yes, I, I okay. got it on speed dial. <laughs> 302, that's Delaware area code. 422, that's the Milford area code. 8315. 422-8315. Call her now. If you get the voicemail, you got to say, hey, my name is Brooks Ritter, Ritter and uh, I called at 851, and I want to make sure I'm one of the five to get a free wrap, and she will help you in any way, shape, or form. If you want to get a little healthier, work on your uh, weight, your health, your whatever, give her a call. Next, I'm going to bounce right back to my good friend, George Luff, Luff & Associates in Milford. They've been real supportive of my show. Thank you for that. They're a great accounting firm. They've been doing my book work for 20 plus years and uh, they also do our payroll so if you have any accounting questions payroll questions if you'd like them to possibly do your payroll give them a call 422-9699 422-9699 on the web now this is the world wide web www what would weller do www l u f f c p a s dot com c p a s dot com okay and tell them i sent you when you call brooks I want to talk about Easter. Dad, go on. When is Easter? It's tomorrow. Isn't that amazing? Yes. It has come this fast. And I want to invite anybody and everybody that would like to come out to Eagle's Nest Church. That happens to be the church I attend. Pastor Bob Weed is the pastor there. Does a great job. And I want to invite you to our Easter service. It is tomorrow at 930 in the morning. Everybody's welcome. Got plenty of parking. And we're what I would describe as a very kid friendly church we have a lady named amy brown and another guy named matt windsor matt focuses on the uh, teenagers and up and uh, amy brown focuses on the teenagers and down right down to nursery they do a great job and we are a very kid friendly church so if you want to come out to eagle's nest um, and fellowship with us it's tomorrow morning sunday morning easter sunday at I forgot the time, 9.30. And I don't know the exact details of this, but I was talking to Senator Ernie Lopez yesterday, and he was telling me there's a sunrise service right downtown Lewis at 6 in the morning. I might even check that one out myself. So anyway, um, you could check that out too. So there's a lot going on. Good time to get out and fellowship, reflect on what Christ has done for us. And if you don't know about it or whatever, get to a local church and learn about it. Um, he gave, it's like a man coming in and paying off all your debts. For a debt that's yours and not his. And he paid for all of our sins. So I appreciate it. And um, I'm going to dedicate myself to serving Christ. And doing the best I can to be a good Christian. And uh, make my way to heaven when it's all said and done. But anyway, Easter at Eagle's Nest or anywhere. Please consider attending a local church tomorrow. Other than that, Brooks, what else do you want to talk about? Are you in sales today? I am in sales today. Soon so let me wrap ends. this up. Eight trailers yesterday. Yes. Two carports. That's correct. Did you let anybody else sell anything else? Uh, I, I gave Jason and I gave Brandon one and I just took the rest. You're kidding me. Yep. I was I was uh I was running. Really? I need <laughs> for, a video of that. For, for let me check the bum, security cameras. Yeah, for a guy with a bum knee, I was moving pretty quick. Bum knee. That's what he says when he's not being productive. There you you know I got a bum knee. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're here today. What time? We're open now, aren't we? Yeah, they're actually open. They're out actually there. out there just taking your deals away. I got to give them a head start. Okay. That's true. Give them an hour head start. What's that called? A handicap? Yes, exactly. All right. So, folks, folks I do want to ask you to be patient if you come in today. Saturday is an insane day, isn't it? People yeah. are usually waiting in line. They usually don't get busy till what, 10 or 11? Normally. And, normally, and we close at 1. That's correct. All right. But we'll, so. do, we'll do just as much, if not more, business on Saturday in four hours that we would do in a normal day of, of 8 or 9 hours. Yep. So, you can imagine, you know, being busy in an 8 or 9 hour day how that transpires into a being busy in a four-hour day. And, you know, it's funny. People get out there and they get talking to you about a trailer. Next thing you know, hours went by, and they're all calm, and they're happy and appreciate Then they get in here, and they want that paperwork done about five minutes. Yes. Don't we wish we could do it that quick? Oh, I wish. But the motor vehicle puts us through the same amount of paperwork, if not more, than for a car transaction. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got to do it, and we got to do it 
paper by paper, line by line. It's got to be correct. And, oh, yeah, that's something we're striving for, isn't it? Yeah. Correctness. <laughs> Correctness. <laughs> we do not want to have to call you back in <laughs> and to say, uh, oh, we fix forgot. Your paperwork. Yeah, we <laughs> registered in Felton and not Dover or something like that. Yep. Hey, what else we got going on? We're open next week, right? Yes, we are. Uh, we're looking for another help wanted position. That's a secretarial position, um, also part time. Uh, two, three days a week, 15, 20 hours, very flexible. So looking for somebody to do some general secretarial things, maybe run a few errands, uh, make signs, laminate things, stuff like that. So if you have any clerical skills and you're interested in that, got to got to have a little computer knowledge and not mm -hmm. how to repair a computer, but how to use a computer, send us a resume on that one. Yeah. I'd say email it to jimmy at wellers.com or mail it to Wellers Utility Trailers, 16889, 16889 North Main Street, Bridgeville, Delaware, 19933, or you could drop it off. So, But now the other one, the mechanical person, that's a plying person, that's right? That's a plying person. Plying Talk person. Jason or Brandon. Yes, and i um, got to have your own tools for that. So, Brooks, I hope you and your family have a good Easter weekend. Everybody listening, I want to thank you for listening to this show, but I would love feedback. I have a ball. Do you have fun with this? I have a blast. I have so a blast. Fun. Brooks has a blast. I have a blast. I'm hoping people enjoy this show. We do pay for it, so uh, that's why I have advertisers to help me pay for it. We thank Delmarva Broadcasting for actually starting Delaware 105.9. Man, what what an interesting thing. Everybody's made the switch. It's been a great thing. Dan Gaffney, Jared Moore, Susan Monday, Fran does his show. It's just a great group of people. So um, Delaware 105.9 has been good to Wellers and good to me, so thank you for that. Also, I just want to let you know, that we do like feedback, in yes, other words. Absolutely. So um, I guess you could send me a note. I am J I M Jim at Wellers.com. You would be who? Brooks at Wellers.com. All right. And if you've done business here and we'd like feedback there too, you can go to Wellers.com. Oh, I forgot a about that. Section. And you yes. can you know, drop us a note on you know how we did. and How and, we served and you. And how, how your salesperson did and what we could do better. Yeah. Folks, we are out of time. Fran, thank you very much. Everybody, God bless you. Have a good weekend. Consider fellowshipping with somebody at a local church tomorrow. Celebrate Easter. The tomb is empty. Other than that, have a good day. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye. The preceding program was a paid commercial presentation. Local news first on Delaware 105.9.